Hey, what is going on guys? It's Gideon, and welcome back to the 8th episode of the vlog. Where we build a quadcopter. So where we last left off, we had the uh, 4 in 1 ESC, and we were just getting ready to strip the cables and solder it on. I did say in my last video that I, were gonna I was going to strip and cut to size all of the cables, but I decided that was a bad idea. But I wanted to solder these first and put heat shrink on these first before I actually decided to um, cut the other ones. Alright, so I'm going to turn this thing on and then we're going to move things out of the way. I don't really have a non conductive area, so the table will do just fine get some solder while this soldering iron heats up we'll need to make sure this is already tinned from yesterday seems fine alright so I guess I'll make a cut here and then start it again when I'm ready to solder alright so it seems like the soldering iron is ready. So we're going to be putting solder on each of these. Oh, before I do that, I need to put some heat shrink on. So I'm going to get some huge heat shrink and there we go. I know this heat shrink is a little, very big, but I don't really have other options. This is the smallest heat shrink I have. So I just cut it a little bit too much as well, but that's okay. Alright, so we're going to tin the wire. Oh, that's quite a bit of solder. That's alright. Come on. All right. Yeah, yeah. I do wish I had that helping hand. But that's all right. Alright, now I'm going to push the cables together. Like so. Oh, I should, probably shouldn't hold the solder then. Add solder later. Yeah, I cut these, the, on the side of the ESC, I cut the cable way too much. That was, that was a bit overkill. Alright, we're going to make a connection with solder here. Just a little bit. Oh, shoot. And now they're disconnected. Great. need these to stay. Please. Stay. Thank you. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm going to make a cut here. Move the camera so it's not so close. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I, I cut some of this a little bit, just to make things hopefully slightly easier. 
although to say that I don't know what I'm doing would be quite accurate. <laughs> oh my gosh, I breathed that in. I'm a genius. Alright, so that's one side. Now to do the other side. Alright. Oh, and something disconnected from my computer. Oh, I need a heat shrink. My heat shrinks are right here. Alright. Good thing I almost forgot. Okay. Or, good thing I didn't forget, but I almost forgot. Which would have been bad. Okay, I'm actually going to cut this heat shrink a little more. So this is not... This is too much heat shrink. Alright, that's a lot better. Come on. Alright. That should be good. If it's not, I'll be very sad. Well, I could try that actually for the next one. Okay, hopefully I don't make a connection doing this. Alright, there we go. Looks nice. Not really. Yeah, that looks like a terrible soldering job, but... What can I say? Also, this one is not going over the actual point where I soldered. Interesting. Maybe I'll desolder this one and redo it. Or, no, it's going. We're good. Alright. This one is also quite quite a mess. This is not the kind of quality that I would buy, but the kind of quality that I would do. Unfortunate. I really do hope it's still making a connection. I wish there was a way to test, but unfortunately this is covered and this is not. I could have I could have plugged in a multimeter, but I can't. Although it would be nice to be able to test for continuity. Anyways, we're going to be cutting this one to size as well. Because I do not feel like continuing to get this wrong. Okay, there we go. And then maybe what we'll do, instead of tinning the cables, we'll do that thing where you wrap the wires around. And it's even holding itself now, how nice. Alright.
Oh shoot, I forgot heat shrink. I'm a genius. Alright, um I'm actually a genius. I can't believe I forgot heat shrink. Alright, um this was the piece I was going to use, but we could probably cut this one as well. Cut off a little. Yeah, this should be good. Cut off a little more, actually. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, so now we can do things the correct way. And now they won't be so nicely tie together. Which is unfortunate. I liked it that way. But, uh, stupidity. What am I doing, honestly? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. I'll use a little bit more solder. Cable's hot. Well, I kind of ruined it a little more now. Okay, I guess I'll wait until the cable's not so hot, and then I'll... Ah, that's unfortunate. I This is like Exhibit A, proof I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, the cables aren't so hot anymore. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to call that a day. Had I left it what it was originally, it would have been better shape than it is now, but that's too late. Alright.
so here we are. I've finished soldering, um, and I put heat shrink on all of them, but my my soldering skills are really poor. But yeah. All right. So now I'm going to be using a heat gun to heat up the heat shrink. I don't know if the heat gun requires any uh, heating up. Probably does. Hopefully, I don't short circuit anything. That's loud. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'll put it on one. The heat shrink I used might have been a little bit too large. Oh well. Alright. Let's do these. Oh, it's hot. Okay, I think I'll stick with speed one. Or one, yeah. Oh. oh, it's molting the plastic. Man. Oh, it's making the entire frame hot. See if I can do something about it. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Alright, so I've applied heat shrink, heat shrink, heat shrink, heat shrink, so, yeah. I'm really sorry, but I, that's going to be it for this video, since it's going to be long enough, um, just that already anyway. So, um, I hope you had a great day, um, and this is Gideon Tong, and I'm signing off. Bye. <laughs>